Hey, this is RR from FinSuite, and in this video, we are going over the FinSuite CMS library for Webflow. And in particular, this is a continuation of the first part of the filter tool. Make sure you check out the previous video so you can learn how to set up the filter tool on your website and on your CMS. This video covers different features of the filtering tool, how you can combine different filter wrappers, and also how you can start searching by filter. We're in our designer and we're gonna go ahead and look at the other filter options that we can do with our Webflow CMS. So this was the one that we were working on in the last video. Right now, as you can see, we have the filters in place and it is set up as exclusive, meaning that um, we you can only select one at a time. So if we were to look at the website, let me publish it really quick, just to make sure that it's updated. And then if you, as you can see, we have it here. Now if we click this, we have our purple, our red, our black, but we're only able to pick one at a time and not everything. So it's only what we call exclusive now what if we want to do two filters multi filters well that is actually simple what we're going to do right now i'm going to have two types of filtering one will be multi uh, one will be exclusive and then the other one will be multi so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and duplicate this wrapper now what we're going to do is we're going to change the other one to a different class name. And the reason why we want that is because we're going to do, we're going to go back to the visual script writer and then we're going to add another filter wrapper and it has to be a different class name so that we can designate what type of filtering system it's going to do. This is the filter hyphen wrapper that is set to exclusive. And now this one, we're going to go ahead and set this we're going to change the class name so what you can do press the arrow button and click duplicate class so that we're duplicating it but we don't want just filter wrapper copy what we're going to do is a filter wrapper and we'll do another hyphen two um, just to designate it's the second filter wrapper okay and we're going to go ahead and go back to the visual script writer now we're going to go ahead and change the code and of course, as you learn this, you're going to be able to learn that you can actually just add stuff into this instead of having to go back to Visual Script Writer. But if you have no knowledge about code and you're scared to mess it up, then that Visual Script Writer is there to help you. It's kind of like that safety net, you know what I mean? That uh, if you mess up, then you can go to the Visual Script Writer. So let's go back to the Visual Script Writer. And what we're going to do is we're going to start over and make the... And make the... Um, <clears throat> the filtering system that we have here. So remember, we want to first of all put the CMS list. What's the name of it? Well, remember it's collection hyphen list. Now we have some factors that we had before that we want to add in. Remember, we added a combined feature in this CMS because these are two separate CMSs, um, CMS collections, but we I want to be able to filter through both of them. So what we're going to do is we're combining these two once it is published. So we want to click the combine tool, we want to click filter, and then we want to put first of all the first filter wrapper, which is dot filter hyphen wrapper. Now, remember you always put a period before the class name to indicate to the code to Webflow that it is a class name. And this one's going to be set as exclusive. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add a new filter wrapper and we're going to call this one, which is what we named the other one, filter wrapper hyphen two. And this one will be multi. So one will be exclusive and one will be multi. Multi, multi, never mind. And remember, we also have an active class because we have this kind of feature that when we click on it, it becomes a, uh, a a certain color, which is this one we had in button mods, and that was the active class would be filter button. So we'll, as we go back to this, we'll go ahead and do this just to make sure we have it. And it was filter hyphen 
active. And of course, you have the option you want to add animation. You can do that. Maybe let's add some animation. Let's add some easing. Uh, we'll do an ease in and out. And um, I think that should be fine. I don't really need to add anything else. So we have some animations. We have our filter active. We have our two filter wrappers. So go ahead and copy the code. And we're just going to replace the code that we currently have. Now, as you can see, if you go back, you could actually just probably copy this part right here and then paste it and you should be pr pretty much good to go. But just in case, we can go ahead and do that and then go ahead and do the whole thing. So we'll go ahead and save. And then we're going to go ahead and publish this document because we're not going to be able to see it on preview mode. It's not going to work. It has to be on an actual published website. And I'm glad that, you know, one thing that's cool about Webflow is it gives us a published website that we can kind of go to without actually connecting it to a domain. We have our own domain that they make for us. So this one is our exclusive filtering and this one is our multi filtering. Now let's see if it works. So we have our exclusive one at a time, exclusive filtering. And then we go over here, we have our multi filtering. See that? Now we have everything. If you want to just do purple and black, there you go. If you want to just do black, if you want to just do red and black and all of that stuff. So that is um, uh, having two types of filtering systems. One's exclusive, one's multi. So you can see these are actually the way if you want to just have all these different types of filtering systems. Let's say you want to have a search and then you want to have a filter and then you want to have radio buttons. You're able to do all of that combining with that as long as you pretty much all you have to do is add a new filter wrapper and keep changing that filter wrapper name to another class name. Kind of just make up your own class name. So we're going to go ahead and delete filter wrapper two, And then I'm going to go ahead and clear some classes just to make sure that no former classes are popping up. It's a good exercise, by the way, to always kind of clear the classes so you don't have these um, random class names in the code. Um, but just always make sure that it's not messing anything up. So now we went ahead and did our exclusive. So that's how you do exclusive uh, and multi filtering. The next thing we're going to look at is how to add a search feature. We're going to be able to filter through these items by having search and it's actually really simple it's really easy it's not as hard as you would think in regular code i'll tell you this it would be pretty hard but in webflow to make it really easy so what we're going to do right now we're going to go ahead and duplicate this filter wrapper and we have it right here and just i'm going to style it a little bit where i'm going to have it be um, not necessarily all the way aligned We'll just have it like that. So it's one towards the left, one towards the right. And in this filter wrapper, I'm going to go ahead and delete this, delete this, and delete that. And we're going to add a different feature into this thing. What we're going to do, actually, we'll go ahead and delete this filter wrapper. We actually don't need, um, no, wait, we do, yes. So, so go back. We have that filter wrapper. Um, and then we're going to add a form block into this filter wrapper. So we have our form block there. And then what we're going to go do is we're going to delete a lot of things in this form block. You see form blocks come, you have all these things already in there. We're actually just going to have a text field and that's it. So we're going to go ahead and delete this, 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 and just one text field. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a border around it just so that we can see that it is a search box, as you can see right here. And then what we're going to do right now is we're going to modify this form block so that we're able to search with it. So we're going to go ahead and go over here, click the element settings, and we're going to make the ID. The name will be search and the name will be search with a capital letter. And we're going to put a placeholder. We're going to do filter by search so that people can see this is where you type in so that it can filter through search. Now we're going to add an attribute so that to make sure that's going to be filtering through these things. It's actually pretty simple. 
all we're going to do is we're going to add an attribute right here and we're going to do the name will be i remember the name will be filter hyphen by and then the value uh, remember on these buttons we did filter by purple filter by red filter by black but in a search all we're going to do is filter by and then an asterisk that's it this signifies to the code that we are doing uh, pretty much whatever is typed that's what we are filtering and how this works is whatever you type if it finds that word within the cms items it will show up that will be the one that will show up so let's go ahead and style it a little bit just to make it consistent with our design so far and then we're gonna make it centered they add some margins i'm gonna delete these margins just so that we are good to go okay now let's see if this works hopefully it does so we published it and we'll go ahead and look at the uh, website so let's see let's type the word sweet and there you go notice it went ahead and filtered all of the ones that have the word sweet on the CMS item notice here sweet effing sweet effing sweet sweet and this was kind of confusing but like I was like why is it showing of course it has right there fin sweet if we were to search remember we have animals as well so let's say we put lion did we have a lion? I forgot. Cheetah? There you go. I thought we had a lion. I guess we did it. <laughs> a gorilla? I know we had a gorilla and all that stuff. And what's cool is, if you, if you didn't know, we actually ended up combining the filter with the combine tool. So now you have uh, different filtering options. You can filter by um, pressing a button or by searching if we search black the ones that will show up will be the ones that have the color black on it and so that is how you add a filter by search option on your cms and so now learning this you're able to figure out that you actually can just go you can go wow you can just go whatever wherever with your filtering system you can add these filters you can have so much filter options you can switch between exclusive and multi and it's very simple all you have to do is just always add a new filter wrapper on visual script writer and just make sure you designate a class name to each filter wrapper and also you indicate that on Visual Script Writer. So you have the class name on Webflow, and then you have the class name on, you indicate that on Visual Script Writer so that the code, they are pointing to each other. And there is also a feature that um, FinSuite has created um, so that you are able to learn to do other things and give you examples on this uh, FinSuite CMS library for Webflow. So we'll go ahead and that is the clonable. So let's check this out. If you notice here, this is one where they added all these different type of um, complex filtering systems. They they have they added a reset all where you can kind of reset everything. And as you can see, how do you figure it out? How do you know? Well, all you have to do, click at it and look, notice on the attributes it says filter by strategy. And there's so many things here. We have radio buttons by year. You're able to do many, many things. Uh, a lot of these have to do with changing the attribute. And if you check out the page, they have other examples as well. We have over here, example eight, where you can filter by a number range. Now, how did they do that? Well, check this out. Click the button. Notice the attributes. It says filter by 1.8 to 28.4. This one says filter by, oops, click the wrong one. 31 through 60 and the it will automatically find the number ranges between that they have other things as well um, which is one that I'm going to talk about a little bit but not in much detail this is how you can filter within a nested collection with a collection list that has a nested collection now we're not going to go over that in this video we're going to go over that on the video on the nest 
tutorial, not next tutorial, nest, N-E-S-T tutorial, which is another tool that the FN Suite web, uh, CMS for Webflow has. And those are the different options that you have available for your CMS when using the filter tool. On the next video, we are going over a tool that is similar to filter, but it is sort. That's effing sweet.